Hey guys and welcome back to the final match week before the international break West Ham United takes on the United Champions League versus the Europa League We are taking on the Conference League winners from last season In a match where I'm going to be real I'm not confident going into this game I like West Ham a lot this season They're quite aggressive with the ball Without Declan Rice they've done a good job I mean they've only lost to what Liverpool City so far They've actually lost less games than us So uh this ain't going to be easy at all. I think Newcastle need to bring their A game today if we were to come away with three points. But after beating PSG 4-1, I will say now I'm a little bit more confident going into this game. This won't be easy though. Do not get me wrong. If we underestimate these, we will lose today. But hi guys and welcome back. If you're new around here and you like what you watch, you make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button. We are now less than 600 away from 50,000 subscribers. What a milestone that would be. So if you guys don't mind getting down there and hit that subscribe button, I massively appreciate it. Smash the like button as well if you enjoy. When we get back, loads of big games coming up. So make sure you let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. How do you think the castle will do once we come back from the international break? We've got to get through this game first though. 5-1 win last season. I definitely don't think it's going to be that easy this year. So let's head over now, speak to some fans and head inside the ground and soak in what is a gorgeous day and soak in the atmosphere. Thomas. Thomas, what do you think the score is going to be today against West Ham? 4-1 to Newcastle and I think Wilson will score a hat-trick and Miggy will score one. Well, sure. hope so, Thomas. Enjoy the game. I think today will be tough with the injuries. Uh, Elliot Anderson on that left hand side, so good chance to try and impress. Wilson's on the bench, so maybe that's an option off the bench, but you know, this is a tough place to come. We do have a good record here, but I'll give it a 1 1 draw today, I'll take that. Coatly heading up the stairs now to West Ham's upper tier in the away section. I haven't been up here before, but I've heard it's like the worst in the Premier League. Now, the big problem I've got with this stand is actually the gap between the away section. So, the fans at the front with their chant, the sound takes a bit longer to get to the back. So, the, it's hard in the away section to get a chance going. And it's just a mile away. I know St James Park's far for the away end, but like, this is, I would argue, probably worse. So, 
Yeah, we'll see what it's like, but I've got a feeling it's actually going to be awful. point of view there. That first half was just terrible. I mean, there was honestly nothing going on in the half three fair. It was just such a nil nil game. But the problem being, it's not nil nil. West Ham had one chance at the target. Now, in our point of view, I mean, Newcastle have let a ball over the top go free. I mean, Nick Pokes is playing like a goal, a goal kick on four clubs. I mean, just run around like a headless chicken. It was just so bad for us. What the hell are we actually doing for that goal? It's so frustrating because there's not actually been anything going on this half. I don't think you guys have been good, but to be fair, I don't think West Ham have done much either, so I mean, probably should have been no ID, but in fact, we're one no down now, but how to change it up, it's been piss poor, awful in my opinion, you've got to get something good now. Ideally, if I need to sag out where it's most up top, and it's as much as I love the guy, nothing's been good on his side, so you want to get our best attacking players on. What an awful game of football this has been, a better improve because I'm going to be a terrible game so far. Big 45. Time to get a second as well, now it's game on. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure on this one, to be fair. Turned up now, I'm certainly turned up now. Oh my days. This sucks class by the way, what an unbelievable player he is. It's took a while to get going, but we certainly got going now. God is a player to just change the game in the space of a second, he's unbelievable. times tonight in London, West Ham United 2, Newcastle United 2. We pushed towards the end, we got the two goals in, but Newcastle just 
wanted to hold on to the win rather than being able to kill the opposition off and that was a big reason why we didn't win the day. Now, in credit to the club, we've got a lot of players injured, we've got players suspended, players like Anthony Gordon come play there because we've got five other cards there for Eddie Arnett to go out left. If we had better squad debt, we had a full team, I think we would have won the day, but the problem was this game kind of came when we didn't have our full squad. And in rest times, defence have actually been pretty good this season. They've only lost twice. And uh, today, I don't think they were good there, but they don't know if they get the results. So I can't exactly come out and see West Ham are bad because they didn't score two goals. But honestly, um, I still thought Newcastle were better. Uh, I thought we were the better team today. And I, I think that's probably good to see in our point of view because, well, as I mentioned, we've got players suspended. So the fact that our squad's still doing well, I think it's a good thing. I'm a bit disappointed. But honestly, I think a draw was fair. Bruno should have got started from the first half. Um, I had a chance to watch it back, definitely two yellows, um, I don't know how he got away with that. If Bruno got sent off, that's 10 men with a 1-0 no down, I think West Ham would have won the game. Uh, it would have been a lot for Newcastle to come back from that. So the fact we picked up the point, in the context of things, I think is a fair point. Um, I thought ideally Newcastle was a better team in the game, but we should have had a player sent off, so you kind of got to give Red, uh, West Ham some, some credit there and go, well actually, well, that's one against them. I don't agree with it. If that was us and let's say a West Ham player should have got set up, I'll be fuming about that. So I can kind of get uh, why some West Ham fans are about dirty from the game. Definitely agree with that. But honestly, from us, uh, we had a good second half. We should have killed them off. We didn't do it. West Ham's got a good second goal and uh, it's happened. I think a point's fair. I don't think either team can honestly uh, complain too much. I think both teams have probably walk away thinking they drop two points. I think both teams will feel that way. But honestly, in the, the grand scheme of things, I think Newcastle have got a decent point today. And I think was the end of the season, you look back at the result like this. Not a bad result at all. West Ham are a good side. Yes, okay, we might have won the other last season, but they're a different team now. Much better. And as long as we get the results at St James's Park and beat all the teams around us, a result like this, with your draws as well today, it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, not too bad. But let me know your thoughts down below guys. Appreciate you watching. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one.